The European Geostationary Navigation Overlay Service EGNOS, is a satellite-based augmentation system SBAS, developed by the European Space Agency and Eurocontrol on behalf of the European Commission. It supplements the GPS, GLONASS and Galileo by reporting on the reliability and accuracy of their positioning data and sending out corrections. EGNOS consists of a network of about 40 ground stations and three geostationary satellites. Ground stations determine accuracy data of the satellite navigation systems and transfer it to the geostationary satellites. Users may freely obtain this data from those satellites using an EGNOS enabled receiver, or over the Internet. One main use of the system is in aviation. According to specifications, horizontal position accuracy when using EGNOS provided corrections should be better than 7 meters. In practice, the horizontal position accuracy is at the meter level. Similar service is provided in North America by the Wide Area Augmentation System WAS, and in Asia, by Japan's Multifunctional Satellite Augmentation System MSAS, and India's GPS-aided Geo-Augmented Navigation Gagun. Topic: History and Roadmap The system started its initial operations in July 2005, with accuracy better than 2 meters and availability above 99%. As of July 2005, EGNOS has been broadcasting a continuous signal, and at the end of July 2005 the system was again used to track cyclists in the Tour de France road race. In 2009, the European Commission announced it had signed a contract with the company European Satellite Services Provider to run EGNOS. The official start of operations was announced by the European Commission on 1 October 2009. The system was certified for use in safety of life applications in March 2011. An EGNOS data access service became available in July 2012. Initial work to extend EGNOS coverage to the Southern Africa region is being done under a project called ESESA, EGNOS Service Extension to South Africa. The European Commission is defining the roadmap for the evolution of the EGNOS mission. This roadmap should cope with legacy and new missions. 2011 to 2030 en route NPA APV1 LPV200 service based on augmentation of GPS L1 only the safety of life SAL, will be guaranteed up to 2030 in compliance with ICAO SBASSARPS 2020 plus, it is planned that EGNOS will experiment with a major evolution by 2020, EGNOS V3, including the fulfillment of the SBAS L1 per liter 5 standard, expansion to dual frequency, and evolution toward a multi-constellation concept. Topic. Satellites and CISNET Similar to WAS, EGNOS is mostly designed for aviation users who enjoy unperturbed reception of direct signals from geostationary satellites up to very high latitudes. The use of EGNOS on the ground, especially in urban areas, is limited due to relatively low elevation of geostationary satellites, about 30 degrees above horizon in Central Europe and much less in the north of Europe. To address this problem, ESA released in 2002 CISNET, an Internet service designed for continuous delivery of EGNOS signals to ground users. The first experimental CISNET receiver was created by the Finnish Geodetic Institute. 
The commercial CISNET receivers have been developed by Septentrio. PRN number 136 was placed into the operational platform from the 23rd of August 2018 at 10 o'clock Coordinated Universal Time, and PRN number 120 was placed into test platform from the 30th of August 2018 at 1300 Coordinated Universal Time. Topic: Ground stations. More than 40 ground stations are linked together to create EGNOS network which consists 40 RIMS, ranging and integrity monitoring stations, receiving signals from US GPS satellites. 4 MCC, Mission Control Centers, Data Processing and Differential Corrections Counting. 6 NLES Navigation Land Earth Stations, Accuracy and Reliability Data Sending to 3 Geostationary Satellite Transponders to allow end-user devices to receive them. Topic. Aviation In March 2011, the EGNOS Safety of Life Service was deemed acceptable for use in aviation. This allows pilots throughout Europe to use the EGNOS system as a form of positioning during an approach, and allows pilots to land the aircraft in IMC using a GPS approach. As of September 2014 LPV localizer performance with vertical guidance landing procedures, which are EGNOS enabled, were available at more than 114 airports across Europe. 